Hello students. In this video, we will see how to solve one example for forces in space. In the previous video, you have seen that if the force vector we have to find, the force magnitude is known and the force passing through those two points is also known. So that is how we were able to find the force vector. In this, we'll see what if the angles are given to us. Now, in this case, you can see that the angle that it is making with y axis is given to me as 65 degrees and the angle with the z axis is given as 40 degrees but angle with respect to x axis is unknown so we need to find out the angle with respect to x axis apart from that it says that the component along x is 750 and that too a negative sign is there so we have to take care of that so what we need to do is we need to find out the other components that is along y and along z i need to find out the magnitude of the force and the value of theta x that is the angle with respect to x axis now as i have told you all that the identity that was given to us is very important in this case that is now using this identity i can find the angle with respect to x axis Now you can see that I have got the angle for x axis. Now the important part over here is if I am taking x axis angle as 61 degrees in that case my magnitude should be coming out as positive but here the magnitude that is given to us is negative that means the angle is definitely greater than 90 degree. So that is the reason we have to select 119 degrees as the angle with respect to x axis now the other two angles are already given to us that is theta y and theta z now out of the questions that were given to us we were able to calculate the value of theta x now what we need to do is we need to find out the other components and the magnitude of the force. Now to find out the magnitude of the force, we already have this relation wherein fx is nothing but f cos theta x. We know the fx value as well as the angle along x axis. So this is minus 750 newtons I'll be getting the magnitude as a mod value and I know the angle as 119 degrees So this is the magnitude of the force which is acting. Now I have already done the second part of the question as well. That is magnitude of the force. I got the value along x axis also. I mean the angle along x axis. Now what is left out is the other components that is Fy and Fz. Now as I have got the magnitude. Now since we have the magnitude all I need to do is find out the forces along x uh, i mean y and z so fy is f cos theta y i know the magnitude that is 1547 newtons and i know the angle as 65 degrees so this is how 
I have calculated the force components along y and z axis. So I hope in this example, uh, I mean both the examples, you have understood if the angle is given to us, how to find the force components and the magnitude as well. Thank you.